What's going on, Silent Steppers? What's up, Tech the Titans? This is Miss Ward coming to you from Panama City. I'm headed over to uh, Niceville right now and uh, over to Santa Rosa. But, you know, I was thinking today about order and remind, making sure you stay aligned with your purpose and whatever you're supposed to do. You know, a lot of times when you are blessed with a gift, it's always that shiny object syndrome or something new to do. And I think it's important that we sit with what we need to master first. Because there are skills that you're going to learn where you are that are going to help you in your future endeavors. I know for a fact that for most people it's very difficult for them to um, sit still. They get so excited. Like me, I'm one of those people I get really excited about learning and being exposed to new things. But the reality is... If you're going to be successful at anything, you have to have laser focus wherever you are. And you have to go as deep as you can, as far as you can, where you are and what you're working on. Because you're going to be able to, if you succeed where you are, as you move over into other realms and other situations, you'll be able to excel quicker because those same principles are going to assist you in your future moves. So remember, stay aligned, stay focused, and stay and get become the best wherever you are, the best you can be. I think that's important because that same uh, principle of being able to stick to something is something you're going to use no matter where you go. You know, the problem with most people is that they get bored quick. Like I was just talking to uh, one of my roundtable members and. Uh, they're in the middle of, of planting a garden with their kids and they're talking about the kids lack of focus or you know the kids really aren't enjoying it but you know we all know this exposure it's like anything else in life we all have these things that bore us out whether it be the accounting part of your business the billing the payroll it's always a part you don't want to do but the key is because you don't want to do that should really push you to put systems in place so you don't have to do it and, and checkpoints in those systems so the only thing you got to worry about is staying focused on excellence you know whether it be the technical side that you uh, enjoy or whatever it may be but I think the bottom line is that most people don't have the patience to weather any storm or any situation but that's a discipline factor so getting back to what I said earlier stay aligned with whatever your purpose is and whatever goals you're working on. And if you just focus on it, I mean, some things you can focus on for seven days or seven hours and it's done, like literally. And people don't understand that. Most of the stuff that you are dreading doing is not as difficult as we think it is. We just make it more difficult you know, because we don't want to focus and it's something that we don't like to do. It's a lot of things I don't like doing, trust me. But I push myself because the more I delay, the 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 harder it is for me to get to my next goals. And then when I when I go ahead and do it, I find out it wasn't that bad anyway. It doesn't matter how old you get, it doesn't matter how long you do something. It's always gonna be those things that's distasteful simply because of your previous experiences and what you, you know, what, what it looks like, what it feels like, you know, things of that nature. So as an adult, you're going to have to discipline yourself to work through it. Like right now, I'm in the middle of a, a fast where I'm not eating any flesh, no meat at all. Everything has been vegetables, you know, working on making sure I'm eating the vegetables that provide protein and things of that nature. Simply because for what I'm doing right now, I need to be so clear focused. And for me, when I don't eat meat, I'm a lot clearer. My thoughts are clearer. My movements are smoother. I don't have to worry about inflammation or any other issues because I'm just one of those people. I'm very, in my opinion, I don't really think anybody should be eating meat. You know, I don't think anybody should be eating flesh. But you do what you do, man. At the end of the day, we all know what our stuff is. But for me, I'm just in this no flesh mode right now. And there's plenty of stuff I can eat that don't, uh, you know, 
and, and, and really trying to stay on that whole foods eventually I want to move over to the raw side of it but I'm taking baby steps that way I the way that I grind the way I move I gotta make sure I take care of me so whatever I need to do to do that working out drinking lots of water staying on top of my my uh, staying away from flesh that's what I'm doing right now I'm not saying that I'm a vegan because I know what that life's about I'm not gonna you know <laughs> disrespect what other people do you know but at the end of the day you got to find what's going to keep you clear and keep you focused and for me i just don't want to do any flesh man i don't get i don't care how good that chicken look a uh, barbecue because i know what it tastes like i got a memory but right now for me to do what i need to do i need to be able to stick and move i need to be able to be light and i need to stay focused and for me any type of flesh uh is not going to do it for me so with that said, y'all, y'all have a great day. Stay focused and find your alignment. Stay in that alignment. Stay disciplined long enough to see results and then move on to the next task. Be blessed.